Pseudomonas is a genus of gram-negative, gamma proteobacteria, belonging to the family Pseudomonadaceae and containing 191 validly described species. The members of the genus demonstrate a great deal of metabolic diversity and consequently are able to colonize a wide range of niches. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a common encapsulated, gram-negative, facultatively aerobic, rod-shaped bacterium that can cause disease in plants and animals, including humans. P. aeruginosa is a multidrug resistant pathogen recognized for its ubiquity, its intrinsically advanced antibiotic resistance mechanisms, and its association with serious illnesses, hospital-acquired infections such as ventilator-associated pneumonia and various sepsis syndromes. It is opportunistic pathogen. Mostly famous for hospital-acquired infections and humid lover. It is one of most drug-resistant bacteria. It is non-lactose fermenter but catalase positive coagulase negative and oxidase negative test. P. aeruginosa exploits weaknesses in host defense to mount an infection. Indeed, P. aeruginosa is the epitome of an opportunistic pathogen of humans. The bacterium hardly infects uncompromised tissues, but it can invade any tissue beleaguered by immunodeficiency. P. aeruginosa causes infection in the urinary tract, respiratory system, dermis, soft tissue, bacteremia, bone, and joint, gastrointestine and blood, particularly in patients with severe burns, tuberculosis, cancer, and AIDS. Importantly, P. aeruginosa causes a significant problem in patients hospitalized with cancer, cystic fibrosis, and burns, with 50% fatality. Procedure aseptically weigh 10 g of sample into 100 ml triptych soy broth, mix well and incubate for 48 hours at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Using a 3 mm inoculating loop streak from TSB onto a CEA plate. Cover, media and reagents 1. Glycerol 2. Triptych Soy Broth, TSB Prepare medium according to the manufacturer's directions. Dispense 100 ml in 250 ml or Lenmeyer flasks. Sterilize by autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Cool to room temperature. 3 Cetrimide Agar, CEA Prepare medium according to the manufacturer's directions. Add 10 ml glycerol per liter, dispense in bottles and sterilize by autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Temper agar to 45 degrees Celsius before pouring into petri dishes. 4 Pseudomonas agar FPAF. Prepare medium according to manufacturer's directions. Add 10 ml glycerol per liter. Sterilize by autoclaving. Dispense 15 ml of sterile medium into petri dishes, and solidify. 5 Pseudomonas agar PPAP Prepare medium according to manufacturer's directions. Add 10 ml glycerol per liter. Sterilize by autoclaving. Dispense 15 ml of sterile media into petri dishes, and solidify. Procedure aseptically weigh 10 g of sample into 100 ml triptych soy broth. Mix well and incubate for 48 hours at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Using a 3 mm inoculating loop streak from TSB onto a CEA plate. Cover, invert, and incubate for 48 hours at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, examine plates for growth. Select one colony of each morphological type present. Streak each of these colonies onto separate PAF and PAP plates. Calculation report positive Pseudomonas aeruginosa per 10 g of sample if confirmed colonies are present. Reference Compendium of Methods for the Microbiological Examination of Foods, Current Edition, American Public Health Association. The matrix in Pseudomonas aeruginosa biofilms consists mainly of polysaccharides, proteins, extracellular DNA, and lipids, and its composition is strain-dependent, and also depends on the growth conditions and the age of the biofilm. The most serious infections include malignant external otitis, endophthalmitis, endocarditis, meningitis, pneumonia, and septicemia. 
The likelihood of recovery from Pseudomonas infection is related to the severity of the patient's underlying disease process. Pseudomonas aeruginosa commonly inhabits soil, water, and vegetation. It is found in the skin of some healthy persons and has been isolated from the throat, 5%, and stool, 3%, of non-hospitalized patients. Green nail syndrome, is a perinicheal infection caused due to Pseudomonas aeruginosa that can develop in individuals whose hands are frequently submerged in water. It may also occur as transverse green stripes that are ascribed to intermittent episodes of infection. How are Pseudomonas infections diagnosed? Your doctor will perform a physical examination and ask you about your medical history and recent symptoms. They may take a sample of pus, blood, or tissue, and send it to a laboratory. The laboratory will then test the sample for the presence of Pseudomonas. How are Pseudomonas infections treated? Pseudomonas infections are treated with antibiotics. Unfortunately, many Pseudomonas infections are becoming more difficult to treat. These bacteria have developed the ability to adapt and overcome antibiotics in their environment. This is called antibiotic resistance. The increase in antibiotic resistance has made treating infections much more challenging. Pseudomonas infection scan often develop resistance to multiple types of antibiotics. It can even sometimes develop resistance during the course of treatment. It is important that your doctor selects an effective antibiotic. A doctor may send a specimen from a patient to a laboratory first for testing in order to be more certain. The laboratory will test the specimen to determine which antibiotic will work best. Treatment may involve one or more of the following types of antibiotics, ceftazidime, ciprofloxacin, cipro, or levofloxacin, gentamicin, cefepime, ashtrianum, carbapenems, ticarcillin, uriodopenicillins.